Hi, my name is Greg Williams, and welcome to Artie Galleries. Um, we are an art gallery and a cafe, and we offer contemporary art. Right now, we have our collection is a, a collection of, of paintings from Myanmar, formerly known as Burma. And all of the paintings here were painted under the rule of the military regime in, in Myanmar. Previous to, to opening the gallery, I had been teaching in um, Bangmont at one of the universities, teaching English. And, and traveling there on a daily basis, <clears throat> I could see people on my way to work um, getting up in the morning, opening their stalls and opening their shops and just being very motivated it seemed about life um, with what appeared to be you know little more than just a few things to sell and or, or a few goods to offer and so here I was working as a teacher it was a, it was a good experience but it wasn't necessarily the type of thing that um, that I wanted to do that I felt like it, it was the best use of my time on a daily basis. So um, I had the inspiration by seeing these people um, on my way to work and realizing that these people were probably doing what they wanted to do. And, and I thought, well, well, if they can do what they want to do, um, why shouldn't I be able to do what I want to do? I was about to hit my 50th birthday and I began to wonder, you know, I began to realize that I hadn't really done a lot of the things that I wanted to do in my life. So this was part of trying to, to accomplish something that I could have as sort of a legacy, um, you know, in my life, <laughs> for my life. Too often, people are, um, are kept away from art publicly. Sometimes it's because people think that um, art is only for certain people. Um, and sometimes institutions or galleries, they do a lot to, to sort of um, to promote that idea that it's only for certain people. But, but I think it's, it's very important for, for people to realize that art is for everyone. And it is a very important part of, of, of our lives. It, it's, it documents the very, the very feeling, the very essence of an individual. It's an expression of, of a certain person about what they see, what they feel, and what they want to express. And so, if there is nothing unusual about that person who is making the expression, there there's, there's, doesn't have to be anything unusual about the person who is receptive or who is observing the, the art. Um, Burma, as you know, is, is um, now called Myanmar. It is recognized as the country of Myanmar. Burma was the colonial name under, under British rule. And so as, as Myanmar begins to, to let people, outsiders, into the country to, to see what it's about, um, it, it is necessary on some level to deconstruct what it is that the, the colonial or, or the, Brit the, the British left behind. And they've been in the process of doing that for a long time, since, ever since they, they had independence. Um, now, of course, because of their government, um, various governments, uh, they, they weren't necessarily recognized as an official government um, by the U.S. And, and the United Kingdom, for example. But, um, but at the same time, there's a lot of, of architecture in particular that was left behind by the British that needs to be protected. So as they, as they deconstruct um, control, there are certain things that need to be protected and need not be deconstructed. Um, they, it needs to be recognized or, um, or celebrated or, or, or certainly at, at the very least um, used in such a way that it at least is a benefit to the country, 
to the current country, to, to Myanmar. 